everyone just want to do a brief little introduction for anyone who is new to my channel I'm Shan I am a rising third year medical student I am a mom of a rising sixth grader and a new baby under six months that I had this spring and pretty much this channel just kind of chronicles my life as a medical student um, coming from just working um, full-time and having a life outside of not being a student to returning to school to pursue medicine um, the things that I do as a student things that I and participate outside of medical school such as nonprofit work um, a volunteerism traveling things like that I love to cook and uh, yeah pretty much this channel kind of showcases all of those things um, I try to give tips when needed I seek advice I just share my experience and this video that um, you're currently you know, watching it's just about my step studying experiences and some of my anxieties and things like that so please stay tuned please comment below please um, join the dream team and yeah I'll see you on the next video. so hello 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 um, I am taking a mini break because I happen to get to school on time today and I'm gonna say praise him because I have not been able to get to school on time in the last two weeks um, I have a set time that I'm supposed to start my studying and just haven't been able to get to school at that time any this week. But since I have a few minutes, since I got here early, I'm going to just give you just a little um, update on how everything is going for me. So step studying is A, B. Um, you can use whatever adjective you want for that B, but it is a B. It has been slightly challenging just because I, at the beginning of my dedicated time, I wasn't able to get consistent studying because my childcare was very um, shaky and very inconsistent. But since then, I've had a little bit more consistency with um, help as far as my little, my littlest one, my son. He goes to summer camp, so I don't have to worry about him. Drop him off, pick him up. That's a good eight um, hours that he is occupied for her. Some days I didn't have childcare for her, didn't have any assistance, so she would have to be at home with me, and a lot did not get done on those days. Um, what else? Of course, I have ADD, which is Attention Deficit Disorder. So I've been trying to keep that tame while I try to focus on studying because I can at times get easily distracted just depending on the situation. And um, so right now, one of my goal is to just crank out more questions because um, my progress through your world has been a bit slow and I only have a few more weeks until my exam. I need to still do content review because for me, I, I can't just do questions. And I'm trying to stay focused. I'm trying to juggle parenting, school. It's, it's the same old thing, just another, you know, same old story, just another day. And sleep deprivation is still there. It's not as bad as it was, but because I want to crank out more questions and I want to crank out more, um, I want to be able to review more, I'm probably going to go back to sleeping a little bit less um, for the next few weeks. And then when it gets like to the week before my exam, I'll probably try to get a good six to, um, six to eight hours of sleep every night if I'm able to with a newborn or with a baby under six months. So... Yeah, the resources I'm using are UWorld is my main resource. I use Boards and Beyonds videos. I use some DIT videos. Some DIT video I also have between DIT and Boards and Beyonds because some of their some material is for me easier understood through DIT and other is easier understood through Boards and Beyond. Um, I have my Pathoma book. I do have some I still have access to my Pathoma videos. I haven't really touched the Pathoma videos um, in my dedicated time because I did watch some of them during the regular school term but I do have a good bit of notes in my actual textbook my Pathoma textbook that I can refer back to um, anxiety is kicking in at times you know can I do it can I get the score I need will I pass stuff like that and I'm just trying to stay focused um, I made a draft of a schedule that I'm trying to stick with so I have that, um, that I'm trying to stick with, you know, I, I say trying because it's not guaranteed that I get through what I'm supposed to get through, but me trying to be more disciplined in um, 
the course of these next few weeks, I'm trying to make sure that I do what I say I'm going to do on my schedule. And I already have a flex day in between there where if I don't do something or I miss something, I can catch up on that flex day or I can breathe on that flex day. I found myself so wrapped up in step studying that a lot of other things have fallen by the wayside, I like cleaning. It happens if someone's about to come over to my house. Like if I'm about to get a guest, I scramble and clean, but I really, I hate that I feel like I can't do anything outside of step studying. Like I hate that I feel like it's a task just to go to the grocery store. I'm like, dang, I gotta go to the grocery store. That's gonna cut into my, you know, my, my time at home study. Oh, dang, I gotta do this. I hate that I feel this way about um, this exam. And I want, I don't want to feel this way about every board exam that I take. So, um, that's all about, I guess, preparation beforehand. And that's something that I have to work on. But I'm trying not to be too hard on myself because I did just have a baby less than three months ago. Um, I did just finish a slew of exams like less than a month ago. And I did make it to the second year. So I'm trying to give myself a pat on the back for that. But like I said, I wasn't going to make this too long. But yeah, keep me in your prayers for step studying. I have a lot more to go as far as getting through my U world in the next few weeks. And I know I can do it. I'm only going to speak positive things, positive aspirations stay optimistic but also realistic um, in that if I'm not ready by my exam date if I haven't reached the score that I need then I'm not gonna take the exam because I'm not about to fail <laughs> this exam so yeah that is the end of my little step update and I will see you guys after I study for some weeks okay bye so hi dreamers <laughs> Where's your summer? Um, before we go any further, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Please like the video because it definitely helps me out. And share the video. Do all that great stuff. And now we'll get into just talking about what has been going on with me for these past few weeks. Um, updates with family and stuff like that. Um, my son is in camp. He goes to camp Monday through Friday. So that's a big help. It's not free, so but it's a big help to get him out and active and socialize and things like that with people. I'm trying to incorporate something educational. So for the last month going into, um, before he gets into middle school, I'm going to incorporate like, you know, more reading things for him so that he can, um, you know, stay sharp on that kind of stuff. My little one, she is just growing and growing and growing. Like she is one of the smartest little girls in the world. Um, I definitely feel like she is being very stimulated in her activities every day. Like she's only so old, but she holds a balloon. She tries to, the balloon rolls down her leg. She tries to grab the balloon with her feet. Like I don't, I don't remember her <laughs> things from 11 years ago with my son, but I'm like, wow, you seem pretty advanced. <laughs> and maybe this is just the mom and me um, feeling like she's like a super genius. But um, yeah, so that is them and with school, I am still trying to get all my studying in. I'm still trying to stay focused with my schedule. Um, take a moment to breathe. I, my headaches have been coming back lately and I think it's kind of stress induced this time. So I'm trying to make sure that I am drinking a lot of water. I am taking breaks when needed, going out to get fresh air, things like that. And I'm getting closer to my exam date. So the anxiety is definitely kicking in, you know, all the ifs and buts wishes wants wells everything is happening but but i am optimistic that things will go well um i want to work on my weak areas during the time that i have left for my exam and i want to make sure that i'm solid and the material that will be tested or um at least as much of the material that's going to be tested as i possibly can touch and get through so made 50 percent through you world um, and for me that is an accomplishment um we're going to be doing some traveling once my exam is over before my son goes back to school so just so that we can have a relaxing week i have a birthday coming up so i'm excited about that what else I have some conferences that I want to attend. I'm trying to figure out if I should attend them or not. They are like first looks into um, program residency programs. And because I'm in the third year, I'm trying to figure out if it's good, if it's necessary for me to go look at these programs now or wait until the next year when I'm actually about to begin the application process. 
So if you have any advice on that, like if you think it's good for me to go um, during my third year to these residency program um, first look events and things like that, or if I should wait till fourth year, please let me know, comment below um, what you think about that. Um, I'm gonna keep it really short and sweet because there's not much going on. I'm just excited. Many of my friends are becoming fourth years and they are doing their, um, have their schedule set for next year. They're scheduling away rotations. And it's like really exciting because it just lets me know, you know, I'm one step closer. They're one step closer. I'm one step closer to being at that finish line. Um, make, it's kind of making me nervous because I have still not locked in on the specialty that I want to pursue. I have a few in mind, but um, I'm not 100% on either of them. So I'm hoping that 30 rotations will really like shed light on where I fit best. I like to talk to people and I like to get to know people. I'm really not, I don't really think I'm going to be into tons of procedures, but at the same time, um, a few procedures, something that I could think I could be fine with. So I don't know if I'm going to be primary care, primary care, or primary care with a little bit of um, procedural based medicine mixed in. So again, I'm hoping for 30 years to kind of like really shed light on everything for me so that I can narrow down my specialties by the time I get to fourth year. And that's about it. Like I said, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. And please comment below. Um, like and subscribe. That is it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I definitely look forward to sharing my rotation experience when that starts with you guys. My first rotation will be surgery, so <laughs> um, I definitely look forward to um, uploading some videos on that and giving you a glimpse into how I'm balancing crazy surgery hours with the new baby and the middle schooler and just everything else that I have going on. So again, please remember to subscribe to the channel, share the video, um, like the video, and comment below. So I'll see you guys later. You know in the whip. Cool. Cool. You recording? You recording? Like that, dude.